feel the waves cut through me. Oh my god. Good morning, guys. Look at my skin. It has never been this clear in the eight months of my TSW journey. I'm so happy. I'm finally here. I'm just so happy. I can't believe this is my skin right now. It's so clear. I'm at my grandparents' house at my mum's side from yesterday night and um, my cousin and my auntie, uncles are going to get together today and we we're planning to do a barbecue but it's raining outside so it might just end up being just like casual catch up at um, a restaurant. I was a bit worried about how my skin was going to be on the day because um, we planned this if, like a month ago but they know what I'm going through and then my family they're so warm and I have just accepted that I'm going to be okay whether my skin's good or bad but my skin is looking perfect so I'm just really happy right now. I think wearing the dishwashing gloves at night would really help with fastening up the healing process. I am in the car. My boyfriend is here in Ibaraki. So my cousin's going to get him and we're gonna go back home and I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce him to my grandparents for the first time, which is exciting. And then we're gonna have dinner all together. And then my other cousin's gonna come over and we're all gonna have dinner together. So I'm so excited. So in the following days, we spent our days going to shrines. Um, we also went to the aquarium. I'll put up a few videos from the aquarium. Um, it was a really um, fun aquarium. They had sections for the jellyfish and it was a dark room. It looked really magical and this bird was so cute. It kept following me and then it and then it started following my GoPro. So yeah, it was really cute. And then a few days later, um, we, we went shopping and found a gacha gacha and he's been doing it. It was such a child at heart and me and my sister were so excited seeing this gacha gacha and we did like three each. And my cousin was just like standing there laughing as we were just genuinely having fun. <laughs> Next up, we went to a place called Fukuroda Waterfalls with my family. Um, so that's my grandparents, my mom, and my sister. We literally haven't gone like gone to any like family trips in so long. Like I can't remember the last time we went on a trip together. So it was a really nice quality time with the family. And yeah, we the view was amazing, as you can see. And then we walked to the waterfall. We actually drove there and then we walked a bit to the waterfalls. And the view was just amazing everywhere because um, it was autumn when we went and the trees were orange and red and it was just unreal.
everyone so i'm actually at a place called um fukuroda onsen with my grandparents my sister and my mom um so we're on a family trip and the view is amazing look at that we just um went to see the waterfall and um because we came too early because the checking was at three and we went to see the waterfalls and that's what this place is famous for and this hotel has onsen which is hot spring and everyone's gone there to take a bath unfortunately i can't go because of my skin um the water is too hot so i can't go but that's okay i get to i get the whole room to myself um so there's every every room has these yukata ready and ready for us to change into they usually have it um, folded in the wardrobes so everyone wears this and goes around the hotel because they have um, a place where you have dinner breakfast and the onsen so everyone walks around in this yukata i really like it it's so cute um yeah this is the room the table's a bit messy please don't mind that but we're all gonna sleep here as well when we go have dinner people come in to set the um not beds but futon which is like a bed like a mattress like a thin mattress um they come in to set all that up for us to sleep tonight and yeah today my skin's doing okay Yesterday, no, the day before, I had the clearest skin I've ever had in the eight months of TSW. And then after that, I think um, that night, I scratched a little bit. So I do have some flaky, scabby bits, but that's because I scratched and rubbed my skin. Um, yeah, it's. I'm pretty happy with how my skin is healing it does get itchy at night especially um when i eat certain foods because since i've since i've been um here in japan i've been experimenting with um what foods make me itchy because the last time i came here i wasn't um worried about that at all because i wasn't dealing with tsw um so this time i'm really like being careful but but um some foods that i've eaten in the past few weeks have i have gotten reactions from it um like sushi that i bought from the shops um because i think um the rice i think the rice has lots of like chemicals and like stuff in it to obviously like to make it last um so it's a bit it's a, it's pretty different to the ones you just you make at home because um you know what's in it like i put in sushi vinegar um and mix it with the rice so that's literally two ingredients rice and vinegar but when you go to the shops they have to put in chemicals and stuff like that to make it last so i really don't recommend eating um eating that it's not really good for you it's not really good for your body and a lot of like side dishes that you can buy in the shops there's heaps of different variety and it's it tastes good but again it has a lot of things in it some places put a lot of sugar in it um, so you really got to be careful with what's inside. But like I said, last time I came to Japan, um, I wasn't worried about any of that. So um, this time, I'm really surprised as to how much nasty ingredients are in a lot of the a lot of the food um, at the shops. When you go to like the proper places restaurants they have quality food so i i've been going to places like that so i don't feel like i'm missing out
so a few days ago i updated you guys about how clear my how clear my face was um and that actually only lasted for a day because i scratched a little bit that night and then it left a few scratches on my chin and then they ended up being a scab but it's not too bad what i wanted to show you guys was my arms because they haven't been doing well they've just been so like itchy and to me they seem really like thin like the skin seems really thin so a little scratch does a lot of damage i don't know if you can see properly but they've got like red patches and flakes and they just they just feel really fragile and my hands look very rough my neck and the chest gets really itchy still like especially at night and my mom's been like really helpful at night and sh at night by waking me up when I scratch waking me up when she hears me scratching so that's been preventing me from damaging my skin but yeah it's just such a problematic area it's been like this for like a month now it, I think I noticed that the areas that I have problems with still are areas that have um, less fat like this area my neck really like it it has okay so two things i've noticed the links between the areas that i am dealing with well, number one is it's the areas that have the lymph nodes running down and the areas that have the big blood vessels and number two is so that was my update um i'm having fun in japan i've been going out um shopping eating out and i'm finding that it's quite difficult to find gluten-free dairy-free refined sugar-free options here in japan compared to australia um and even if they are like gluten free, they don't have like the label saying it's gluten free. It just when you look at the ingredients, um, you realize that it's gluten free because they use like rice, rice flour, and like other things, um, things other than gluten. So yeah, I find that it's quite hard over here to find things from the shops. But sometimes um, when I go to like a big shop grocery shop they have sections for like allergy friendly products oh and i forgot to mention i was editing um my seven month update vlog and i realized that i forgot to update you guys about cmos so i i vlogged how i bought the cmos and i showed you guys how i um, consumed it i made it into a smoothie and i told you guys that i was going to update you guys how that goes but i forgot to do that so it's been over a month since then and i nearly finished the whole jar but i had to throw the last bit away because um it expired you get to the point it didn't do anything for me i don't know if i didn't take it long enough i had it for like three weeks i had it every day mostly every day but i just didn't see any changes so i didn't buy any more of those um yeah i don't know i've heard a lot of good things about it so i was i had high hopes for it but it didn't do much or it didn't do anything for me not that i've noticed so yeah let me know if you guys do try cmos if it does anything for you morning everyone 
I literally just woke up and I was contemplating whether I should st whether I should stay in bed or get up and then I had a flashback of when my skin was really really bad at the beginning of TSW and at the time my skin just hurt so much when I was lying down because my skin would get pushed against the um, the bed and I remember when I remember when I would wake up in the morning I, I had to like get out of the, get up straight away otherwise it just it was so uncomfortable and it just hurt so much my whole body head to toe hurt so much that I had to get up so I didn't even if I was really like sleepy and I remember thinking I wish I had the option to stay in bed and sleep in but um I didn't and I just rem I remember thinking how how good it would feel to have the option to stay in bed. I realized how how far I've come, and I'm so grateful for that. But I forgot how that felt like, and I had a flashback just then. And I I'm just so so grateful, and I'm proud of myself. Uh, I got over that. Um, I am going to a gluten-free bakery today. Um, it's kind of hard to find gluten-free options, like dairy-free, refined sugar-free options here in Japan compared to Australia. So I did some research and found a gluten-free bakery. And it happened to be not so far from my grandparents' house, so we're going to drive up there today. I'm so excited because I love food and every time we go to the shops and find like the normal bakeries. I'm so I get so sad that I can't buy anything there because everything has gluten, sugar and all that stuff in it. So I'm so looking forward to going to that bakery today. This isn't the bakery, but when we drove up to the bakery, it was closed and I was devastated. But then we called and we explained that we thought it was open because it said it was open online. And we mentioned that we were from Australia and the lady kindly opened it just for us. And, and she was actually baking for the next day. So we actually got to taste the freshly baked rice bread and we bought a few and it tasted amazing it was incredibly fluffy hey guys so um there was in tokyo there was this gluten-free dairy-free refined sugar-free um dessert market um like a pop-up store that opened um last week unfortunately i wasn't in tokyo that t at the time so my sister who was there um got desserts for me from there so i wanted to show you guys what she got and i'm so excited because um all this time i couldn't eat any desserts in japan while everyone else was eating and i just felt like i was missing out and i have the biggest sweet tooth so i was looking forward to this event and my sister got me a lot of those sweets so let me show you guys what she got first up oh my god this looks so good it's called mont blanc i this is my favorite cake of out of all the cakes out there so she got me the she got me this a matcha cake apple apple tart chocolate cake figs and nuts tart i don't know what this one is but this one looks pretty like a christmasy theme and another cake that's like mont blanc oat cookies this one's matcha caramel macadamia nuts and this one's maple pecan nuts this one's biscuits madeleine another biscuit this one's a vegan butter cookie i'm so excited to try them all um, 
this is a tori in Owarai, which is in Ibaraki and it was so calming to listen to the sound of waves and the sky was so nice So we're back in Tokyo and this was my first time going out without wearing a hat so I was really really happy and I feel like I'm starting to live a normal life again which is so nice.